of relief and joy for one family after their loved one spent three decades behind bars. 61 year old Joaquin Syria walking out of jail a free man today. Good evening and thanks for joining us at five. I'm Julie Hayner and I'm Andre senior Syria wrongfully convicted of murder in San Francisco. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee is here now with what it was like for him to get out. Henry. Andre and Julie, Joaquin Syria is relieved and happy and rightfully so. He was wrongfully convicted of murder and has spent half of his life in prison. <laughs> this is a great country. A great country is made out of great people. 61 year old Joaquin Syria enjoying his first taste of freedom in 31 years. After doing time in state prison, Syria was released from San Francisco County Jail days after a judge confirmed he was wrongfully convicted of murder. I really want to, you know, to say thank you for, you know, to God, because God put the right people to make it this happen. Pedro Syria was just weeks old when his father was arrested. I don't feel hostile towards the justice system because, you know, the justice system is just something that tends to mess up every once in a while. You know, I am joyful that the right people made the right decision. Syria was convicted of murder in the 1990 killing of his friend Felix Bastarica in part because the getaway driver said Syria was the shooter. San Francisco DA Chase Boudin said that witness lied on the stand after being pressured by the SFPD to identify Syria. Boudin launched the Innocence Commission in his office. Syria was the first case that was reviewed. False eyewitness identification, false testimony, and in many instances official misconduct. All three of those common factors were present in Mr. Sirius' case. This is what we do our work for. These moments are amazing. Linda Starheads, the Northern California Innocence Project. It should be the norm. We shouldn't have to celebrate that. That should be something that is expected of all district attorney's offices to fairly investigate a case. You were taken away from your wife and your baby, and that is because the system failed you catastrophically. USF professor Laura Bazelon chairs the Innocence Commission. Your resilience and persistence finally won the day, and that you now, at long last, have a chance to take back your life. So for now, Syria is relishing his release in a world with iPhones, Ubers, and self-driving cars. But his first order of business? I would like to eat some Q14. <laughs> 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 we got a Cuban restaurant. DA says even with all the celebration and fanfare, the sobering reality is that the real killer who fired those shots back in 1990 has not been brought to justice. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Henry, still sad that uh, the real killer has not been found yet. Uh, have you heard anything that they're going to launch another investigation to find the actual killer? Yeah, the DA's office uh, did get that question asked, and they are saying uh, they're not talking about it, but the investigation is ongoing. All right. Henry Lee reporting for us live. Henry, thank you.